land, ocean, and atmosphere are coupled, and if you disrupt any one of them, it has a cascading effect on all uh, the entire planetary system. That sea level warming causes the oceans to rise up. So you have this problem of sea level rise. When you hit something, the volume increases. So it's a combination of both the heating of the water and the ingress of fresh water from land-based sources. You know, historically, there are parks and recreation, but now they're becoming the first line of defense. So in 2018, we started had a couple of storms in the spring or late winter, and as a result, it really started to eat away at the beach. It just reduced the amount of sand people could enjoy, but it started to scrape away at the dune. It was not safe for people to swim. So we had to close off a section, but it let people know that climate change is real, and we had to really do something about some of the storm surge. Normally what happens is when like, um, you know, waves break near land, they can feel kind of like the bottom of the ocean. So when you're gonna have sea level rise, they might not be able to break, that might not even be able to happen because the water's too deep. So where they're surfing now might not be able to be surfed because there won't be like all those waves happening. So one of the most visible changes that is happening uh, in the United States is along the coast of Florida. You can see on any uh, given day, uh, you can see uh, the seawater ingressing onto land and flooding just uh, roads on which people walk. And this is not only happening in Florida itself, it's happening all over the world uh, where the water is coming closer. You go to several beaches along our east and west coast, and especially in the south, um, beaches uh, bordering uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Many of them are eroding at a faster rate than we've ever thought would happen. In the, the poles, we have the Arctic sea ice melting. In the Antarctic, you have um, the Antarctic uh, shelves collapsing and releasing a lot of uh, glaciers and water into the oceans. We have this problem of uh, this twin problem, the twin evil of hypoxia and ocean acidification. Hypoxia is the reduction in the oxygen content of the water. The spread of hypoxia, you have also ocean acidification happening because of excess CO2 coming into the atmosphere. You can see that the pH of the water changes, uh, you know, has changed in some parts of the world from Typically 8.1, it has come down to about 7.9. So it's affecting the ability of shellfish, for instance, to form shells. But the most important thing is we have to reduce our carbon footprint uh, drastically. All countries should be partner. It's going to be a hard transition. It will be costly for some countries, but um, the rich countries created the problem. <laughs> so they have to make some sacrifices and actually help the developing countries.